guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a few events that I am prepping for this weekend. I have an event on Friday, I have an event on Saturday, and an event on Sunday, okay? So a few of you guys, well, more than a few of you guys, a lot of you guys have asked me how soon in advance can you start prepping for your events? It's Wednesday, so as you can see, I'm prepping for my events two to three days before. I'm gonna blow up all of my balloons, you know, I'm gonna do my centerpieces, I'm gonna get everything together, all right? So in this video, we are gonna focus on these palm spears. As you can see, I'm gonna take a step back. I got these off of Amazon, and I'm gonna be using these to create some dried floral arrangements. These dried floral arrangements are gonna go on a couple of my backdrops. I wanted to bring you guys along with me because some of you guys have asked me, how do you do that? So you're gonna see in this video how I'm gonna create my arrangements, all right? So let's get started. All right, so first I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be using. So I have, these are just some ivory white flowers here, all right? And then I have some pompous grass. Now, I will warn you guys, when you are working with pompous grass, it can be very messy. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have some hairspray so that you could spray it, and then that will stop it from shedding, all right? I also have these foam cage boxes right here, okay? And then I ordered this dried baby's breath, which I love, all right? And then I have some wheat. <laughs> I guess these are just like dried wheat. I have some large palm spears here, okay? And then I have some of the smaller palm spears here. So I have four of the larger ones, and then I believe I have eight of the smaller ones, okay? All right, and then last but not least, I have some artificial eucalyptus.
right guys, so that's the dried floral arrangement. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I don't want it to be too heavy before I attach it to my backdrop, okay? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up adding a few more flowers and leaves in there, but for right now, it's okay. Now let me just give you a couple of tips before I close out this video. Here's a foam box, I have an extra one, and I know you guys are gonna ask me how do you attach it to your backdrop, so I just wanna show you. So there's these two holes, right, at the end of this foam box. What I'm gonna do is just get some zip ties, and then I'm gonna use this hole, I'm gonna put the zip tie through the hole, and that's what I'm gonna use to attach it to my backdrop stand, okay? If I have time at my events, I'll make sure that I zoom in so you could see what I did, all right? And then the next tip that I wanna give you guys is when you're working with dried florals, you have to be super, super, super careful because they break very, very easily, all right? So you just wanna have some patience and you just wanna take your time when you're putting the flowers, the dried flowers into your phone box because again, it breaks very easily. I'm gonna put the links to all of the materials that I use in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.